ты. Интересно. Руслан. How interesting, Руслан. What kind of bone is this? Интересно. It's an artifact. Виктор Федорович. Виктор Федорович, look at this, please. Такими инструментами выделывали ремни. These types of tools were used to make belts out of the horse fell. There were plenty found, since they're pretty widespread in Botai. Therefore, many of those blunting objects were found on the excavation site. It's a good find. My congratulations. When we started our research in Bataille, we found 100 to 1,000 animal bones and determined that they were horse bones. Ninety-nine percent of those we assigned into collection. That period is dated to be the fourth millennium BC, meaning these processes took place six thousand years ago. It's not just an accident. During the Atlantic period, which was warm and humid, according to paleogeographers, the grass was very tall and rich in biomass. The height of the grass reached two meters and above. Then all these animals were wandering here, hiding in the grass, and large number of horses inhabited this area. Just my. Now we are going to clear our little find from the soil, place it in the bag and indicate an address. Here we have square number A3 and the depth at which the artifact was found. After that, we are taking it for revision to our camera tent. The traditional pieces that exist today—those traditional ways existing nowadays among the Turkic peoples—they all began in the Batay period. Step required special system of adaptation, and in extreme climate of rapidly changing weather conditions, it was possible to adapt only by utilizing horses. Meaning that life itself was requiring people to get on horses. Most of outstanding discoveries of the world have been made here. The wheel, transport, chariots, practically everything, from clothing and homes to people's maintenance systems. Одежды, дома, системы ухода за человеком. All of it was made in the steps. They were all heuristic discoveries, not some kind of far-fetched evolutionary findings. There is no other place that has such proof base of domestication as in Botai. Perhaps the origins of domestication of horses is the whole area of Eurasia, the Great Dest e Kipchak steppes. Maybe other places will be found as well. I do not doubt it, but the most effective breakthrough was carried out in this area. Hello there, ladies. We have some more finds here. Let's see. What is it? We'll see now. I'll explain. This is a blunting tool. What was it intended for? It was intended for carrying of skins, softening cords, from which later they would weave bridles, halters, harness, and other horse-related items. We are now in the cameral workroom, where guys are working on artifacts. This involves clearing the artifacts from dust and soil. Then artifacts are given a code, a certain number. 
Here we reconstruct the part, bit by bit, and attempt to find something new, figure out the worldview of Batai people, how they were making these things, and basically prove with every find the fact of domestication of a horse. Each discovery carries a unique information. We combine this information together, and it opens a completely new perspective. The entire area of the settlement is over 20 hectares, and we divided it into three zones. First is the coastal area, which used to be an industrial area. People here were engaged in household crafts, handicrafts. The central part of the flat area of the settlement was living quarters. The place where we are standing at was used for utilities purposes, like maintenance of horses and milking mares. Actually, the place of excavation of one house with the adjacent circular fence was an economical complex of Botai. It appears to be the paddock for horses and a place for trading kumis. Well-known paleozoologists Nurumov and Makarova were working on collection of Batai horses at the very beginning. They determined the proportions and found out that there were different breeds of horses, small, medium and large breeds. Height of Batai horses ranged from 120 to about 160 centimeters. These breeds were strong enough and later on they served for the exchange and for the emergence and development of new breeds. Batai horses went around the globe and became the basis of the breed formations. When you find something that is interesting to you, you get really excited and each time you want to find out more and more. When a man initially tried to tame a horse, he failed to do so, because the horse got mad and walked away. After this, they came up with a method that was used for domestication of other species, castration. Castration is a method that reduces the natural aggression, using special needles made of bird bones. There are plenty of such in Botai. They simply pierce the testicle of a horse. The horse was not losing weight, wasn't getting sick. It regenerated very quickly, but was not that aggressive anymore, and in a few days could be put under the saddle. They tamed horses not just for riding. They got on horseback to control the herd, because herds would not allow an unmounted man to approach. That is, the horse was domesticated. The horse was a very valuable asset. Ancient Batai people milked horses, as evidenced by the analysis of scientists at Bristol University, who discovered the molecules of mare's milk in the vessel. This paddock was designed for approximately 35 to 50 horses. This is the exact amount of horses that one Batai family could take care of. Here are the homes and paddocks. They are located away from the central part due to the milking of mares. During the process, the mare should feel comfortable. Its colt needs to be next to her, and it has to be quiet. This is a kind of sacrament, and additional people or animals should not be there. Before us is the pit of a dugout house. This is how Kumis place looks like. I'm entering the house through which they proceed to the paddock. Kumis was made here, stored over there, and then went back up to the paddock and worked on this product. The dwelling had one entrance and exit on the east side. 
Now I'm going out. The sport allowed for observing the settlement and those horses to be lured in here to prepare them for milking. They were milked into ovoid shaped ceramic vessels. The tradition of multiple usage of the vessel originated from that era. I still remember that during the Soviet era, when the milkmaids were going to milk, they were taking aluminium or galvanized buckets, mostly aluminium, and writing on them said milch. No other buckets or vessels were used. But Thai people laid the foundation for this. То есть другие ведра не использовались, другие сосуды не использовались, и батайцы уже заложили эту основу. We can only talk about our observations in the study of the settlement in the first place. Not just Batai settlement itself, but the settlements of Batai culture. There were several distinctive features. Они отмечались несколькими признаками. Первый признак экологический. First feature is ecological. They settled in areas with good quality of clay. The Thai clay is microscopic, wholesome, and has multiple colors. It was used to make vessels, paint bodies, and for other purposes. Then, the bank of the river needs to be sufficiently high with a flat area. Since it was a watershed area, this was necessary for grazing horses. It's my fourth expedition. I am planning on coming again. I really like this. It is interesting to learn one's history, to touch it. This artifact is so old, it is fourth or third millennium, that is six, five thousand years ago, according to the radio carbon analysis. We are able to compare on real-life example the bones of contemporary horse and that of Botai period, and they will differ. Further on will work like this. We select the information about the artifact, things we concentrate our attention on, mainly horse teeth, I mean the jaws, to check the traces of curb beads if there are any. At that time, there were curb beads made of bones and hair. We examined traces, how they worked, and checked the prints on those marks. At the moment, we are digging the whole cultural layer containing material, and we dig to the layer that used to be the surface back then. There are findings along the way. On the stratigraphy, on the different layers of soil, we may observe various spots that provide us with different information. Batai horse gave new communication system to the world. The world exploded with information opportunities. Covering vast distances in a short time, the information got concentrated, saturated, and then exploded, and opened new horizons for understanding the world. This is the most important thing. The changes of the culture, language, ethnicity, and other manifestations of life simply followed, and this is important.